Thank you all for coming. Um, I'm going to take you through uh, a short isotope presentation. It's very much AB orientated because we can give you uh, statistics, we can give you measurements, we can give you graphs. I can tell you that Titan over here can reduce mains noise by 85 dB, but it means nothing to you really. Better to actually listen to you how the product performs. So a little bit about the company. We're a British company. We've been producing high quality power products for around 14 years. Um, we're very proud to say that the very first product we made was award winning and the very latest product that we made is award winning. And in between the years, we've actually won multiple, multiple audio awards for our uh, designs. Something like over 40 now, I think. So we have great consistency within, within our field. Clean power equals pure sound. Power is the first input of any audio system. Yeah? Without it, nothing else will work. But the quality of that power will have a profound effect on the electronics that uh, are connected to the, the mains. And unfortunately, the main supply is becoming worse, increasingly worse. We fill our lives up with more and more electronical devices. We now walk around with cell phones that have so much data beamed into them that all of this stuff is around us. We can't see it, and it gets into our audio system and affects the sound. So our mission as a company is to get rid of all of the unwanted frequencies on the power line so we just have the 50 hertz, which is the sinus wave. There's two real problems on the power line. One is called differential mode noise and the other one is called common mode noise. Now these are things that I haven't just made up. You can go and read about them on Wikipedia, etc. Typically, uh, this will be created and caused by anything with the power supply. So all electronic devices that you have plugged into the wall around your home, when they're drawing power, they'll actually be corrupt in the mains ever so slightly. And this noise gets into our audio equipment, as I said here. So we need to stop these devices corrupting the mains that feeds our audio equipment. But also what we have to do, and what a lot of other manufacturers forget, is we have to stop your audio equipment also corrupting the power line, yeah? Because it too creates differential mode noise. Common mode noise, often referred to as radio frequency interference, RFI. It's become far, far worse. We're bathed in a sea of RFI and EMI. Moreover, we now have tablets that we walk around with, these wonderful devices from Apple and Samsung. Uh, in order for those to work, we have to have wireless networks directly in our home. So it's a terrible, terrible situation we have. The other problem we have is power surges and spikes, which are becoming increasingly uh, uh, worse. And Again, the isotope range protects against these, and as you go up uh, the range, uh, the protection becomes increasingly more sophisticated and to a higher amperage. Incidentally, uh, any company that says uh, their product will f protect you against a direct lightning strike is lying. God won't protect you. Allah, Buddha, whoever you might believe in. Sorry, can't be done. But what we can say is if your neighbor is uh, struck, then our product will protect you. So. That's what we can say. And believe me, no insurance claim on the outside of the packaging will make the slightest bit of difference. Yeah? So we're going to start at the beginning uh, of this presentation with the audio equipment here. We're going to be using this uh, Luxman uh, CD player, Primair Electronics, uh, a pre-power combination. The wonderful uh, Vienna Acoustics KISS loudspeaker. Cabling is courtesy of AJ Vanenhall. Um, and the power is the thing that we're going to work with. So we're just going to be changing the power in this presentation. And we'll start with these electronics plugged into this uh, white plastic distribution block here. Uh, just a regular standard thing. We'll be using these uh, black standard power cables. These are provided free when you spend a colossal amount of money on a new purchase of audio equipment. Yeah? So each time you spend 10,000 bucks on a new piece of kit, I'll give you a $1 cable to power it with. Yeah? It's, a bit, uh, it's a bit funny, but so that's where we're going to start. I'm going to choose a piece of music. Um, by uh, This first track is by Maria Mena of the album Cause and Effect. I'm going to play it with the equipment connected into the white block. I'm then simply going to unplug from that white distribution block, plug into uh, Sirius, an isotope product over here. This is part of our performance range. And then we're going to replay that music track for you and let you have a listen to what's happening. When we started this presentation, I was talking about differential mode noise. 
um, produced by your fridge freezer, your computer, your microwave oven. And it's really important that we don't let this noise here get into our audio equipment here. Um, so a lot of manufacturers will sell you hopefully something a little bit more sophisticated looking than this uh, with maybe some uh, conditioning here, some filter network. Um, and you plug your audio equipment into these outlets here and you think, great. However, as I said earlier, this equipment here also creates differential mode noise. So you have cross-contamination in a localized area of differential mode noise. Because for power to get to this outlet here, it has to go through all of these ones here. And so does all the noise. In uh, every single Isotec product, no two outlets are connected together in parallel. Everyone is completely independent. That's why we call it Isotec, isolation technology. So we have complete socket independence. So we can take power from the wall, we can clean it, uh, from differential mode noise, uh, common mode noise. We can stop the cross-contamination. And then we can also protect using a, a sequential protection system that we've developed. So it's not just one big MOV. We don't use MOV at all. We use uh, a cascading array of VDRs to offer uh, very, very high levels of protection without killing the dynamics within the music. Now, at the moment, um, we're, we've still got uh, limitations with uh, the Sirius because we're holding it back. We are holding back the performance of Sirius because we're using these cheap black cables here. So we need to take them out. These are kind of shutting in the sound a bit. So if we can remove them, we can improve the sound of the system further. So just to recap, we'll have these electronics here plugged into Sirius using these black cables. I'll play you this track swap out these black cables for this brand new Isotec Evolution 3 Premier power cable and then we'll re-listen to the music track. Uh, there's so much more attack on the, the notes in the guitar uh, and there's much more sparkle and openness and atmosphere in the music. So let's just um, explain what's going on a little bit. Um, these are really, really, really cheap cables, um, and they are in completely the opposite direction as to why we bought an audio system. Uh, we bought an audio system because we believe in improvements, quality. We search to get a little bit more performance. Uh, we're not, we're not uh, afraid to spend a little bit more money if it gives us a little bit more of what we enjoy. People who make this cable, their motivation is completely different they're mainly interested in how much cheaper they can make it. <laughs> so they can sell more at more profit. They're, they don't really care at all about quality or performance for that matter. As long as it works, that's fine. It's made from very, very unpure copper. Uh, terrible dielectric, probably PVC. I'm guessing, looking at the diameter of this, the conductors would probably be 0 0.75. Termination isn't particularly smart either. It's probably nickel plated, not very good. Um, so really a crazy thing to include with a high quality audio product. The Isotec Premier, on the other hand, is uh, manufactured to the highest quality we can, we can make. Uh, we have uh, three square millimeter, uh, sorry, two square millimeter conductors of 6 nines oxygen free copper, silver plated. We then use uh, a Teflon PT, uh, FEP dielectric, so it's a very, very high quality dielectric. We then pack this cable full of cotton because we, uh, we don't want to put a PVC jacket directly onto our conductors because it will screw up the dielectric uh, performance of the FEP. So we then pack this with cotton because cotton has great dielectric properties in its own right. And then at that point we can actually um, uh, put on the uh, paper rapid and put on the PVC outer. Um, conductors are twisted to give RFI rejection. Uh, that's something Alexander Graham Bell did in 1880 something or other. We've uh, designed our own high quality termination. These are solid copper, 24 karat gold plated connectors. So you've got a really, really high quality cable for a very fair price. And you can really hear how well it performs in the recording. So we've kind of got a closed loop here. We're taking power from the wall. We're cleaning it. We're removing the common mode and differential mode noise. We're offering protection, stopping that cross contamination. So we have a closed loop, not letting any RFI back in again. So that is Sirius. It's an entry-level system uh, based on Isotec uh, conditioning and power cords. What I thought would be interesting now is to step up our product range a bit. So we're going to go up to Aquarius. 
So I'm going to choose another piece of music um, and play it on the Sirius <coughs> using the Evolution 3 Premiere power cables. Unplug from Premiere, plug into the back of Aquarius, and replay that music track for you so you can hear what's, uh, what's happening. Far more dynamic, a lot more control within the soundstage now. Um, we get a little bit more leading edge as well. So how does uh, Aquarius differ from Sirius? Aquarius is basically six power conditioners in one box. Uh, we have two high current uh, uh, outlets for power amps, subwoofers, active loudspeakers. These are rated at 16 amps, so you're going to get continuous 3,680 watts, approximately. Um, then we have four medium, and this is for the uh, things like CD players, DAC, preamp, tuner, etc. They're only rated at 5 amps because typically a CD player will only use around 35 to 50 watts. You don't need the power, uh, so much power. The filter network for the, uh, the medium current side uh, is completely different to that of the high current because we design for purpose. There are filters in all kinds of things, including washing machines. doesn't mean to say they're good for audio. Yeah? So Isotech's about designing for purpose. If we design a high current outlet, then it's designed for that, uh, that usage. If we do a medium, then it's obviously designed for that usage. Um, in terms of protection, in Sirius we have 22,500 amps. Aquarius, we step that up to 67,500 amps, so higher protection. Internal wiring in the uh, Aquarius is a solid core with a virtual air dielectric, so that's a, a big jump up there. We use multi-strand uh, in the um, uh, Sirius. So I, uh, I really do um, think uh, Aquarius here is a kind of golden point in the Isotope product range. Uh, it is multi-award winning. It was voted in a reader's poll in Czechoslovakia last year as the number one accessory that you can buy to upgrade your system. We are impressed by that because when the readers vote for something, we take it kind of seriously. It means that we're doing the right kind of things. So to conclude our, uh, our presentation today, I thought it would be fun to um, to demonstrate the Titan. Uh, Titan is uh, a device that we designed specifically for high current usage, so to be used with big amps, uh, big subwoofers, and it's this piece here, this box here. Um, I'd say we're the, probably the only company worldwide in the field of specialist audio that design a high current, properly design, a high current uh, power conditioning system uh, for those devices. So that's Titan. So just to recap, all of the electronics at the moment are being plugged into Aquarius. I'm just going to change one component this time, the power amp. So the power amp will come off of the high current of uh, Aquarius, and it will go on to uh, the Titan here. And then we'll replay that music track for you. As you can hear, we've got far more control in the bass uh, region. The sound stage is starting to become layered and holographic now uh, in the performance. So uh, Titan, designed for high, high um, current devices. Um, you might read in the audio press, uh, if, you put a power con if you put a power amp on a power conditioner, it, you'll kill the dynamics. I would say that's not what's happening here. If we design for purpose, and we do it very, very well, then it shouldn't be the case at all. And that's precisely what we're hearing with Titan. In the same way, that if I was to drive a sports car um, across a field in the rain, the handling would be very, very bad. Yeah? It wasn't designed for that purpose. I'd be better off with a tractor. Both devices, both vehicles have four wheels, a steering wheel, brakes, and a seat. They're designed for a different purpose. So what we're saying here is if Isotec design specifically for purpose, then it will function correctly. Because we design everything from the ground up. Uh, so, Titan with Aquarius for front-end uh, components. I'd like to just conclude uh, this uh, demonstration, uh, this little seminar that we have here, uh, by giving you a few things to think about and to take away with you. It's true in audio, and we all accept this, that source components are important. We start off with a good recording, play it on a good CD player, because if it starts off bad, it's not going to get better down the chain. This is an accepted fact. However, the best CD player in the world will not work without power. And the quality of that power, as you've just heard, will have a dramatic effect on its performance. 
So if we're really serious about audio, we need to get back to the real beginning, the power line. Power is the first input of any audio system. So logically and in theory, the first piece of audio equipment you should buy is a power conditioner. <laughs> Hopefully an isotope one. Uh, but we already have audio systems. But therein lies an opportunity. It'll be the only thing you buy that'll improve everything you already own. You'll probably listen to 80% of the performance of your audio system. So we believe clean power equals pure sound. Um, and that basically concludes our presentation. Thank you ever so much for coming. Um, cheers. <laughs>